In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for HI plus MgOH2, hydroiodic acid plus magnesium hydroxide. I can see I have two iodine atoms here and just one here. Put a two in front of the HI. Now I have four hydrogens and two oxygens, and only two hydrogens and one oxygen. I just put a two here, and this equation is balanced. Once we have the molecular equation, we can write the states for each substance. So this is a helpful table of common strong acids and bases. And you can see that HI right here, this is a strong acid. Because it's a strong acid, it's also a strong electrolyte. So we call this AQ. It'll dissolve or dissociate into its ions. We don't see magnesium hydroxide with our strong bases. And in fact, hydroxides are usually insoluble. So in this case, this is going to be a solid. Compounds with iodine are normally soluble. We're going to AQ, that'll dissolve, and water is a liquid. So we have the states. Next, we split the strong electrolytes into their ions. That's the complete ionic equation. So anything that says aqueous here is a strong electrolyte. So we'll have hydrogen group one has a one plus iodide, one minus. So I have two hydrogen ions, and I'll write aqueous later, I won't write that now, plus two iodide ions. And then because magnesium hydroxide is a solid, we don't split that apart in net ionic equations. It's just MgOH2. So it stays the same. In the products, magnesium group two, two plus, we said the iodide ion, one minus. So I have Mg2 plus plus two of these iodide ions. Plus, we don't split water, we don't split liquids apart in net ionic equations, 2H2O. And this is the complete ionic equation. Now we can cross out the spectator ions. They're on both sides of the complete ionic equation. They haven't changed, so we're really not interested in them. I can see that I have two iodide ions in the reactants and two in the products. So I'm just going to cross those out. But everything else, it's unique. And that makes this the net ionic equation for HI plus MgOH2. Let me clean this up and add the states and we'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for hydroiodic acid plus magnesium hydroxide. You can see that we have two positive charges here on this side, two positive charges here. So charge is conserved, mass is conserved as well. We have two hydrogen atoms plus two hydrogen atoms. So we have four hydrogen atoms here, four here, two oxygens, two oxygen atoms and one magnesium on each side. Mass is also conserved. This is Dr. B and thanks for watching.